We started with uh, what we call Institute for Science of Information here. Information theory that was created in 48 by Shannon was more static, point-to-point -point communication. These days, everything is dynamic. We have four objectives, research is one, and also education, also diversity, as well as knowledge transfers. It's a big center. It's uh, around 50 faculty, 100 students. We have about 40, 50 collaborators, international collaborators. So this is, uh, this is a movement. In some sense, we can say that you know, we're almost victims of our own success in that now we have an overabundance of data with social networks, with all this media coming in. Uh, part, of, part of the reason for that overabundance that bothers us is because of the success of traditional information theory. Biology is arguably one of the most important applications for information theory. The amount of data influx in living systems, life sciences, living systems biology, is, uh, is simply enormous. We focus on three grand challenge questions, and these include how do we take measurements across time and convert it into causal mechanistic information in biology. Second, how do we take noise and missing data and quantify it and ask the question what is predictable and what's not predictable. And finally, we ask the question, how do we build the context of semantics and how do we build the context of context into uh, building knowledge from networks? What I think the center has been extraordinary at, actually, and what I most value about being a part of it is uh, the interdisciplinary nature of the center. So we have people in biology, in physics, uh, in economics that are coming together with people whose core discipline is information theory and communications and information science. It's kind of like a, a pendulum that goes in both directions because the theoreticians uh, influence the engineers and the engineers then um, influence the theoreticians because they tell you, okay, but you should really look at this problem. And uh, the same thing, people who work on life sciences, who work on economics and uh, physics and so on. You know, they also need new tools from information theory, and that's what we try to provide. It all begins with education and how you take all the cutting-edge research that is being done in various disciplines in the center, and how do you then bring it into the classroom? On the diversity front, it's a huge challenge. How do we promote diversity and outreach because it's one of the goals of our center? I think it is very valuable. In order to make these important societal advances, we need people from a variety of different viewpoints and backgrounds to, to take their, 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 their uh, understandings together. The science of information truly is, uh, I, I would believe, it's, it's an incredibly timely science. Um, its applications are immense. We're reaching out to companies, but we're looking to see what their problems are, how they can influence what we do inside the center. We take the products that come out of our center, push them out to industry, and, and, and say how these are, are useful to, to our, our various industrial uh, partners. I think it's actually an extraordinary uh, group of people that would not have worked together at all, let alone this closely, if it weren't for the center.